Are you guys see Wade here doing Hack to Site Realistic Mission 10? So I'm gonna go ahead and dive right into this. The Holy Word High School Mission. Realistic Mission 10. We're gonna take the challenge, and what we're trying to do is change Zach Sanchez's uh, failing grades into passing grades. So we're gonna take his password of Liberty638, and we're gonna go to the website. Before, though, we need to take note of his username, which is Zach Sanchez. Um, we're gonna go to the site and we gotta check our grades online. So we we'll go ahead and check this out. Zach Sanchez log in. All his grades are right here. Okay. So we're gonna go to the home page and we're gonna view page source. And I noticed that when we are viewing the page source, there's a hyperlink staff.php. I'm gonna take that and add it to the end of our 10 directory. So instead of index.php, it's going to be staff.php. And we're going to be here. And I'm just going to log in. Invalid. Check to see if we have any cookies. By the way, this plugin is Firebug and FireCookie. You need both of them in, it in order to use this tool in Firefox. And this did not write any cookie. So I'm going to go ahead and try an SQL injection. Invalid. Okay. Um, we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to the staff listing. And as you notice, when you hover your cursor over a hyperlink, uh, it gives us this teacher info .php question mark ID equals twelve. Um, with the IDs equals, it's gonna be ID equals something, and it's usually whatever it is, the value. It's gonna parse a different page, and so sometimes with this theory you can use these exploits called file inclusion. It's either a remote file inclusion, which looks like this. And that did not work. Or it's a file inclusion, also known as local file inclusion, which looks like this. And it can keep going on, but I don't think that's gonna work either. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not vulnerable to file inclusions. So I'm going to hover down and looking down here in the lower left hand corner, I'm going to find the ID which equals 1 because that's most likely what the admin is. That's right there. Samantha Miller. So I'm going to go ahead and copy. I'm actually going to go to her little profile. Yeah, I'm going to copy her email and we're going to go to staff.php again. Now we're going to go uh, type in her email. Mm. I'm going to try it without the email. All right, and we have welcome, Mrs. Samantha Miller. Please remember that access to the staff administration area is restricted to districts supplied Holy Teacher web browser. So, what it's looking for is a user agent. Like right now, I'm in Firefox, and Firefox has the user agent, Mozilla Firefox. Internet Explorer has its own agent, like the iPhone has its own agent. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to addons.mozilla.org and you're going to look for the uh, user, I think it's called uh, yeah, user agent switcher. You're going to look for that add-on. Then you're going to go to it. You're going to go to default user agent and you're going to go to edit user agents. And then we're going to go to new, new user agent. And I'm going to go ahead and type in our user agent holy underscore teacher I'm just gonna copy that and use that for the description as well now we're gonna go to tools default user agent and we're gonna select holy teacher and now that should be our user agent so we'll refresh the page and now we are in her little panel uh, You are not an administrator, so you cannot change grades. Um, yeah, what we need to do is go into our Firebug, check for cookies, and yeah, we have her username and password, and we also have an admin cookie with the value of zero. So if we change that value of zero to one, that should make us an admin. So we will refresh the page now. And that little notice went away, so I'm going to go to change grades. Zach Sanchez. Uh, we need to 
do this Bible study up top one first, make that two, change it to something else. Bible study. Um, and what we're looking for in our source now is the form action. Because although it says that it's too late to change the grades, uh, the form action is still here. So we can go ahead and p copy this and paste it into our web browser. But we need to look for um, an input type with a uh, name and value. And I see that there's an input type text named grade. And you, the value is 2. So we need, to, we need to change the value of 2 to 5. So I'm going to go ahead and do pa uh, paste that in. Not overwriting the entire address. Just staff.php. And we're going to go to the end of our URL now and do and grade equals 5 grades updated this top one should be 5 yeah 5 5 uh gem compute yeah we got to make this a 5 and that a 5 so i'm going to go ahead computer take th Just making sure. And grade equals five. Let's do his computer class. And just follow this theory to get the ones that you need out of the way. And there, I beat the mission by changing its grades. Uh, again, it's just right here in the source. I'll show you guys again. It's the form action, uh, staff.php. You copy that, and you're going to paste it over uh, the staff.php. And then at the end, you're going to type in after that one, and, and then we're going grade, because that's the name. And then we type in equals, and then the value. So that's that. That's realistic mission 10. I'll be doing 11 soon. Thanks for watching.